Hello and welcome to the Gold Coast. We're here at Staffer Rocks in Queensland, Australia. It's a point break right here in prom break. It's one of the most crowded waves on the planet and we're here today for the finals day of the World Surf League Challenger Series Cup. Today was the last day in the event window for the competition and thankfully the waves came and played well. It was kind of nice. The waves are nice and warmly, fairly clean. The rain was sort of moving in and out all day and it ruined it at the end of the day, the very last bit of the day actually bucking it down. Uh, but apart from that, it was pretty good all day. They had the quarterfinals, semifinals and the finals and the comp wrapped up. So here's the footage of the comp. I hope you enjoy it. Here we have Isabella Nichols versus Macy Callahan, and both of these young ladies have been on the main tour. Uh, unfortunately, with the mid-season cut, which nobody seems to like, they've both been relegated down to the Challenger Series comp, and they're fighting to try and get back on the tour again. Isabella Nichols took out this heat with a very convincing win. She absolutely ripped it up. On to heat three, we have Bronte McCauley versus Luana Silva. This was a really good heat. This one. Lana Silva took out this heat, and what can you say about this young lady? She absolutely rips the bag right out of it. Moving on to heat four, we've got Alyssa Spencer versus Sally Fitzgibbons, and once again, thanks to that shitty music mid-season cut, Sally's been relegated to the Challenger series. Unwind is when the WSL is actually going to listen to their fans and scrap the mid-season cut. Nobody likes it. The surfers hate it. The sponsors hate it. The fans hate it. WSL, are you hearing us? Piss it off. As you can see by this wave here, there was points during the day where a snapper point really turned it on. You got nice face here, nice and wall, you really contested with some nice lips to hit, nice long ride, really was a good day of surfing. Bang, she snapped the lip there, and right out of that one unfortunately, but nice effort though. is a tight heat but Sally took out the win on this one and as you can see she gets mobbed by the kids here when she comes in. She's a crowd favourite of Sal, the kids really love her. We move on now to the quarterfinals heat one of the men's and they've got Josh Burke versus Chow Gianca. I don't think your name there right mate. I really thought Josh was uh, going to win this whole comp, unfortunately he didn't but he really showed some fine surfing as you can see here and this is another great heat.
Josh Fair took out that heat, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him on the tour next year or the year after that. He's got a lot of potential, this young man from Barbados. Moving on to heat two, we've got Dakota Walters versus Mikey Madonna. Now, I've seen Mikey growing up here as a young Bromley, and he surfs this point break incredibly well there. Even as a young Bromley, he ripped the bag out of his place. And as you'll see in his surfing here, he's really got tell his place he's going to go a long way. Unfortunately, in this heat, I didn't capture as much of my feet as I could of. Uh, surf photography, it's a hard game. You've always got some other kind of understanding, right? In front of your tripod from time to time. And I missed a lot of these waves, unfortunately. And, and the problem with these people, you'll see the leg of my tripod here in a second. I'm on the rocks, and, and you always get some complete imbecile stand right there in front of them. You bend your camera, literally a foot in front of your camera, and they have an attitude when you're asking them these. So, Surf photography is a hard video. Unfortunately, I didn't capture as much of Wifey in this feed as I wanted to. I really only got him on the one wave coming up here, unfortunately. But anyway, he went on the win that heat, and uh, we'll see him coming up in the semis. Mikey came away with the win there, and he had the most amazing cheer squad on the beach. His mates were just frothing over him. It was just absolutely deafening. Good to see. You know, uh, you're legends, you guys. You're absolutely going off here, mate. Now we move on to Heat 3. We've got Ian Devala versus Samuel Pippo. And Samuel Pippo, he won the event last year, and this guy absolutely charges. He's been on and off the tour a couple of times, and I'm sure he'll be back there again. But you really got to enjoy his surf and he just shreds. Surfers ripped in that heat, but uh, Samuel Pupé, he just dominated that heat, he was unbeatable in that one, and he advances on to the semi final. Moving on to heat four, we've got George Pitter versus Michael Rodriguez, and I haven't actually heard of George Pitter before, but man, this guy shreds. Uh, I thought he was going to win the comp too, but he, he really says, unbelievable, this guy, great talent.
Joe that wraps up the quarters and George Pitter took out that one so he moves on to the semis which are coming up very shortly and here we have a bit of a dog playing soccer on the beach with the Brazilians in their soccer ball. I kind of love this run, this dog is just having a blast, it's like, yeah, yeah, let me hit it, let me hit it, come on, bang, there he goes, he wants to hit it again, give me another shot, bang, he hits it again, it was good to see, the dog was just having a blast. Now we move on to the women's semi-final, I think, one, and we've got young Aaron Brooks here versus Isabella Nichols. Now, this Aaron Brooks, she is only 16 year old, folks, and she absolutely missed. I've seen her coming to Snappy here over the last couple of years. I was out there with my camera over the last few years, like she's been surfing here before the comp, and this lady, she's going places, she rips. I'm putting big wraps on this one, I'm going to say straight up, this lady's going to win a couple of world championships. For such a young surfer, doesn't have a lot of meat on her bay, she's a very tiny girl, but once she moves on a bit, gets a bit older, and puts on a bit more muscle, believe me, she is going to be a powerhouse in female surfing for years to come. Just watch this lady surf. final hit one has come to, to an end and Aaron Brooks took out the win over Isabella Nichols there. Aaron and Isabella are actually very good friends and here the young fans come to get a few autographs from Aaron. They, they love it. Leading on to semi-final hit two, we have the powerhouse that is Luana Silva and the WSL store world Sally Fitzgibbons. It's been on the tour for many, many years. Alec pulls in a nice clean little barrel here and makes it out. The crowd went absolutely ballistic on the beach. That's heat two of the semis coming to a close and Moana Silva takes out that one. She's a very powerhouse of a set for this young lady. I think we're going to see her on the tour very shortly. Now we move on to semi-final heat one of the men and we have Josh Burke versus Mikey Madonna. This was a great heat this one. Just have a go at this move. This is something you don't see in comps too often. Josh Berg taking a leaf out of Kelly Slater's book. Bang, there he goes. Pull on the wrapping 360 car. You don't see those in surf comps too often. Bit of a high risk maneuver, but he pulled it off easily. <laughs> Thank you.
sin fine I keep one coming to an end there Mikey Madonna takes out that heat that was one of the heats of the day that power surfing by base surf is very close heat but Mikey takes that one out he moves on to the final and now we're going to semi final heat two you miss heat Samuel Pupo takes on George Pitter it was a good heat too another great heat This wave is one of the waves of the day that Samuel Pippa, wow, big car up there, comes down, hits it up again, big wrap around Cuddy, up again for another one, full wrap around Cuddy there, up for another hit, wow, now that's some power surfing right here, another smack of the lip, up here for a little floater, couple of little smacks here at the end, and uh, what a wave, that was a good scoring lane that one. So that wraps up semi-final heat two. Samuel Pippo comes away with the win there with some real powerhouse surfing. Now we're moving on to the final of the women's. We've got young Erin Brooks going up against Luana Silva. It's going to be a challenge for Erin, but uh, I'm sure she's got it in her. And as always with surf comps, when you come to the final, the crowd just surges right down. And unfortunately, I got so many people get in the rain with Tamara, and I didn't capture as much of this final as I wanted to. And I missed the wave of the day, which was young Aaron Brooks 10 by right. She got an absolutely smoking late bow. And unfortunately, I missed that one. But here's the rest of the final that I captured.
though as this ink draws to a close like I said unfortunately I didn't capture the numerous ways it were written by both competitors especially how it was just simply too many people in the array of the camera. Here's the area coming in, be hard from Isabella Nichols, Isabella Nichols and someone else sharing out the beach there, she's absolutely stoked with the win. And well done young Erin, we're going to see her on the tour for sure very soon. She's an unbelievable powerhouse of a surfer at such a young age. With a big grin from ear to ear, great surfing, great cop, well done Erin, congratulations. So moving on to the men's final, this is Mike Madonna versus Sammy Alpupo. Now unfortunately about 10 minutes into this heat it started absolutely buffeting down and the wind was howling. The rain was coming in sideways and I didn't have my umbrella with me. Crown was everywhere in the road anyway. Uh, the camera was getting wet so basically I had to chuck $12,000 worth of camera lens up my shirt and make a mad spent for the car to try and save the gear. But this is what I captured and I hope you enjoyed the footage anyway. So, like I said, due to the rain, I didn't catch at the end of this heat. Mighty Madonna won the heat, went out to win the comp. If you made it this far, please consider giving it a subscribe. I shoot snapper rocks all the time. There's lots of videos I have on my YouTube channel, like this one of Mick Fanning here. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to some more videos like this one here and ones of Snapper Rocks in general and all the old WSL pros that live there.